What's up, guys? It's me, your bad ass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, guys, so in this episode right here, we're going to be going after the legendary bird Pokemon from Johto, and that is, uh, uh oh, since we're playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, right? Right? Yes. Okay, so first thing is first. I do not think that we actually went in for a uh, for a scanner down in C in C Mauville, so that is exactly where we're going to be going right now. We need to go get a scanner, some kind of scanner. And now remember, you do need a Pokemon that knows how to dive in order to get to the scanner right here. And actually, we've been through this whole place before. It's just we just got to locate it now. So let's go right ahead. And uh, would you look at that? The nameless cavern. Should I or should I not? I... Alright, so we're going to be going straight to see Mauville right here. And, uh, let's see, where in the bloody H is this Sea Mauville? Oh, look at that. Uh, actually, we passed it by. Holy crud. Sea uh, Mauville. Sea Mauville. Where the heck are you, Sea Mauville? Ah, oh, there you are. Okay, so we're going to be landing right here. And uh, we're going to be going straight for a uh, scanner right here. So, yeah. Me just talking in my thoughts and all that stuff too right here so let's go let's see we're gonna need a Pokemon that knows how to surf so let's go ahead and surf yeah buddy all right we're surfing all right we're surfing right here and uh, if you guys remember the last time we came over here we got the secret treasure and all that stuff uh, did a, f a few things captured uh, what you call it that Pokemon I can't remember what it was um, Spirit Tomb and all that stuff. Now, we actually have to go get the scanner right here, and it's hidden around here somewhere. I don't know. If, did I get it or something? I don't know. Still trying to remember. Now, remember, there is a bottom floor to this whole lo location. Like a whole bottom, bottom floor right here. So, we got ourselves our mud, uh, mud kip, or not mud kip, but our swamper, swamp lord, you know, that guy to help us out right here. And, uh,. Well, let's see. We're going to be looking for that spot right there. There it is. So we're going to be going down. And I believe the scanner is right around here somewhere. So we're just going to have to press the A button while we're going here. There it is. Yes, we will be picking it up. And look at that. We found ourselves a scanner. Okay, so that is that. Now, if you're playing Opic, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby, you're going to get ho if you're playing Pokemon Alpha Zapphire, you're going to get Lugia. And Lugia is going to be located in this section right here. Now, what we have to do next is we're going to have to actually go to, let's see, I think Slateport City? Yes, we're going to have to go to Slateport City and talk to the big, bo the big boss himself. So let's go right ahead and take care of that situation. Again, we're going to be capturing Pokemon left and right all over the place because we can and all that crud. So... There we go, running around everywhere, just like a kid we, that we are, and we're out. Okay, luckily we can actually just use the Eon Flute right here, and well, there we go. We're flying. We are flying. Okay. Okay, let's go. Come on. All right, so we're going to have to go to Slateport City. Here we are. We're not that far away, and... Uh, just like that, we're going to be, uh, bam, sliding. I'm back, baby. Alrighty. So, now what you gotta, what you gotta do is you actually have to go to the port right here and talk to the uh, Captain Stern, I believe. So, let's go right here. You'll notice that you have the scanner, so from there, he's just going to tell you what to do. So, where in the heck is he? There he is. Okay, so talk to him, and he's like, oh, that device you have there is a scanner from Seamawville. That could make our expeditions really take off. Mm, would you do me a favor and let me take that scanner off your hands? Sure. For a price, though. Okay. Yes, thanks. This will help our research a lot. Take this bill as a token of uh, my appreciation for your generosity. Alrighty, so we got that. We got ourselves a clear bell. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon Alpha Zapphire, I believe you get yourself the title bell. Correct me if I'm wrong. And, uh, well, there we go. That bell... And that bell figures in old legends from the Johto region. It's a ni it's pretty nice to have. Well, it, it is nice to have. And let's see. When I was working on Sea I had to I had a lad working under me who was uh, from those parts, and he gave me that. If I remember rightly, his family passed down to some special dance style. But it was only for the girls. And so as a lad, he came over here looking for work. He always kept the bell on his person. But sometimes when he uh, when we were up top. Uh, up there at Sea Mauville, the bell would ring. 
Really? And it would, uh, it would almost uh, seem to glow. You don't say. It sure was mysterious, uh, all right? I've held on to it for all these years, but I'd be happy if you could serve it, it could serve you some use now. No, oh, you don't say. Okay, so he just he kind of gave us the clues right there that you know that's where you you're probably gonna you're probably gonna find uh, the legendary Pokemon in it yourself right there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fly back to see Mobil and uh, well, let's go right ahead and do that. So, it's not that far away. Let's go right here. And here we are, Sea Mauville. It's not that far away. It really is it? Now that you think of it. There you go, Sea Mauville. And uh, what is next? Okay, so we're gonna have to surf our way over here, but when you touch the floor of Sea Mauville, something, something extraordinary is gonna happen right here. So, let's go right ahead, touch the floor. And you keep on walking forward, and what ends up happening is this. The clear bell in your bags seems to be glowing faintly. Hmm, you don't say. Now, again, Omega Ruby, you're going to find them on the top part right here. You're playing Alpha Zapfire, you're going to be on the bottom floor. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right here. As you can see, there is going to be a ring looking within it. Not right now. I kind of need to save the game first because, yeah, I don't want to miss out on any of these Pokemon right now. So there it is. We saved the game and let's go right ahead. It's a mysterious ring floating in the air. And what's next? What's next? What is it saying? A mystical presence seems to be lurking within it. Would you like to examine it? Sure. Oh, damn. And the music changes to its traditional uh, music. Look at that. Okay, so here it is, guys. Ho-Oh, the legendary Pokemon of Johto right here. And, uh, yeah, level 50. Not that tough to actually try and capture. We're going to try and use Thunder Wave because, yes, it's been working for us. If, remember, it is a flying and fire type Pokemon. This guy, yeah, he... He is a tough cookie to actually uh, to, to actually battle right here. So what it's doing right now, it's using the sunny day just to power its uh, stance up right here. Now what we're gonna do in this whole thing is we're gonna switch it out to tank because homeboy here can actually take the tanking. He can actually take the hits plus can dish it out and hopefully not make this Pokemon faint. So here it is, tank. The uh, oh wow, it's using the sunny day again. All right, come on, tank. Use the body slam. There we go, body slam, and it takes a nice amount of HP, but what is this punishment? The heck? Oh, gravy, I thought that, you know, I seriously thought that the punishment was like, a, it was going to give it a, a recoil, and look at that, it's already at red, so we're going to be okay right here, I hope. And luckily for us, we've been using a lot of timer balls, so there's no need for us to just like go into the bag like we did it earlier come on timer ball help us out help us out come on stay in there damn it yes this uh this ho -oh right here is uh, making it hard for us to capture it and well let's go right ahead and use another timer ball come on baby be good come on baby jesus come on here it is and of course ho -oh is just being you know ho -oh. it's being a hoe and what the hell what the hell is he doing Wait, it's sunny day. Uh, never mind. Okay, that, that, that was a little bit different from uh, the regular sunny days that I've done. So here we go again. Timer ball. Let's get this. Come on. Stay in the ball. One. Damn it. Oh, you suck. Uh oh Okay, alrighty. Here we go. Let's get this. Stay in the ball. Come on, man. Don't be like that. Stay in the ball. Damn it. Okay. Uh-oh, using Sacred Fire, this is its signature attack that really messes up somebody. It also has Sacred Ash with it. If you guys don't know what Sacred Ash is, I believe it's the, the item that revives every Pokemon on your team. And look at that. Using its Sunny Day, it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue breaking out of this Pokeball right here, which is annoying. So let's go right ahead and do it again. Come on, Timer Ball. Get it. Damn it. Damn you. Uh oh why must you be a ho-ho? So, let's go again. Timer ball, come on. 
<laughs> Let's get him. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Oh, come on. You know you want to be my Pokemon. Of course, it's paralyzed, and it's not going to be wasting any of its attack. Now, the thing is, guys, you guys got to catch this guy before it starts losing all its PP. That's actually happened to me before with Groudon back in Pokemon, uh, my original Pokemon Emerald. And, oh, gravy. Using a Fire Blast right there. Okay, let's go. Come on, Timer Ball. Got to stay in that Pokeball, man. Damn it! So this Pokemon is starting to be a little too good for the, 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 the timer ball right here. Should probably throw something else. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Stay in there. Come on. One. Two. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> you suck, man. You suck. I hate you. And look at that. It's using punishment. Still not making my Pokemon faint. So it's got one more. It's got one more. Let's go. And, oh, gravy. Okay. It, it's just, it, yeah, they, he, he's not trying to, he's, he's not trying to, he's not trying to faint. Or he's not trying to, like, get in my Pokeball right here. Come on, man. Stay in there. Stay in there. Ah! Oh, you suck. Why are you being a hoe, man? Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Come on. Stay in the Pokeball. You know you want to! Ah, you suck. I hate you. Come on, uh oh And of course, he's gonna be using his uh, Fire Blast right here, so it's gonna make Tank faint, but it's already done its job right there by paralyzing this Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and switch out the next one. Let's go ahead and have someone that can actually take all these hits right here. So let's go with Hydra 2. And... Alrighty, okay, alrighty. There's the intimidate. There's not a lot of a uh, not a lot of attack that it can actually use. So let's go with the timer balls. Already we're down to 20 timer balls right here. Holy crud! Okay, here we go. Come on, stay in there. Damn you, freaking ho! -oh. oh god. There we go. Another punishment. Yep, we're taking it. Don't worry. Come on. Stay in the timer ball. Don't be a ho. And oh, you suck. Oh man, you are a ho oh. Of course, he's coming out with a fire blast. Not going to be super effective. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Come on, Timer Ball. Come on, stay in the ball. Damn it! Okay, so ho oh, is just, uh. Yeah, just like in Pokemon. In all the Pokemon games that I've ever played for ho, -Oh, I think it's best to actually just use them for freaking time, like, for Master Balls. Oh my god, come on, stay in there. Oh, come on! Uh, and here comes its sacred fire attack. This one looks like it's a mean attack. and it's Oh wow, it's burning my Pokemon. So that is not good. So it's going to be like a double hit right here. And we're down to 16 uh, timer balls. Not to worry, I do have uh, like 50 ultra balls right here too. So there we go, two, 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 two. Oh, you suck! Oh, you suck. I hate you. Why? Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. Timer ball. Let's get this timer ball. And... Come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Two. Two. Yes! Yes! Oh, man. Uh-oh. You... Uh, you're exactly what your name says it is. You're a hoe. Oh my god. Look at that. Okay, so there it is, guys. We caught ourselves Ho-Oh, -Oh, the rainbow Pokemon, fire and flying type Pokemon. 12 feet. Six, uh, whatever inches. I I've been saying it all wrong. Whatever. Uh, let's see, what else? 438 pounds of annoying muscle. And, uh, well, let's see. ho -Oh's feathers glow in seven colors depending on the angle at which uh, they are struck by light. These feathers are said to bring happiness to the bears. This Pokemon is said to live at the foot of a rainbow. Huh. Look at that. Well, it's uh, the foot of my rainbow right here, so we caught ourselves Ho-Oh. Look at that. We caught ourselves Ho-Oh. We caught ourselves Ho-Oh. So... That right there is how you capture Ho. Now, there is a little bit of a something right here. So let's see. 
Now, once you have, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm looking down uh, this, this guide right here. So if you have Ho-Oh and Lugia on the team, you will be able to, you're, you're going to enable yourself to actually get Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. So that is probably what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Uh, so stay tuned with that. Other than that, guys, uh, I will see you guys next time because, uh, holy crap, that was a, that was a, that, yeah, that, that, that right there was just a, yeah, that was something. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Alrighty guys, so here is the Alpha Sapphire version of how to capture both Ho-Oh and Lugia. And uh, yes, this is like the first recording uh, <laughs> in quite some time. So anywho, same method guys. All you have to do is grab the scanner from Seamawville, return it back to, what was it, what was it, uh, the, the director or whatever, the... Captain Stern, yes, I completely forgot his name, yeah. So you have to go to Captain Stern, and he will give you the opposite of what uh, I believe Ho-Oh was. I think it was a rainbow, yeah, it was a rainbow f uh, f a rainbow feather. We get, uh, what do we get right here? Let's see, it's right here somewhere. It's a, sooth it's a bell of some sort. Let's see, where is it? I am so sorry, guys. It, is, uh, <laughs> it has been a while right here. Well, let's see, here are all the Mega Evolutionary Stones, and uh, what are we looking at? What kind of item? Actually, it's right here somewhere. Yeah, the key items. We get the Tidal Bell. This right here will enable us to go back into C Mauville. Go back into the... Go back into the section where we have to dive down to find the scanner, and uh, yes, we will be able to find ourselves Lugia. So, that's what we're going to be doing now. Suffice to say that I just kind of maybe wanted to use a Master Ball against this Pokemon, and then I realized, oh yeah, I already used that. Uh, I used that on uh, Deoxys. <laughs> kind of wanted to make this short and sweet, guys. I really did, but I guess we have to suffer one more time before we complete this whole thing. So here we are back in, so in C Mauville, this time in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And... Well, we're just going to be going on about here. And all we need to do now is make sure to have a Pokemon with both Surf and Dive. Thankfully, Leviathan knows both. And we're going to be going into the section right here where it's all washed up. You know, it's all watered out and all that stuff. Again, Dive. And here we go. We're going to be diving. And there we go. Yes, we're going down right here. And... What we need to do now is we need to go into this section right here, this entrance. And once you get the scanner to Captain Stern, the title bell in your bag seems to be glowing faintly. That right there is the notification that, yes, there is a legendary Pokemon afoot. And well, what I'm going to do right now is what any normal trainer would be doing. And that is uh, getting his Pokemon team ready because, yes, I don't want to... I don't want to mess this up right here. So all we need to do now is we're going to go down here and you will see a ring appear. Bam! A mysterious floating ring or a mysterious ring is floating in the water. Extremely pure seawater is flowing out from within it. Would you like to examine it? Yes, I would. Oh, wow. <laughs> the theme song is uh, popping up and here we have Lugia. And, yes, we're going to be going with Thunderball right here. Now, we, we do have to be careful with this Pokemon right here because, uh, yeah, uh, we don't want it to faint or anything. So, come on, Charge Beam. Help us. And that right there. What the hell? It's using Punishment. Uh, okay, so I seriously thought that Punishment was like a... Uh, I thought Punishment was like a recoil damage kind of thing, but... Looks like it's not, and we're going to be going with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. And uh, we're going to see what happens if we use this Pokemon. Here comes a Punishment Attack, and I think... Yeah, that's not going to be super effective against this Pokemon. Uh, okay, so let's go right ahead and use Magical Leaf since it's not really going to be something. And here comes Aeroblast. This is something. Holy buckets. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so... I kind of wish I would have uh, taught this Pokemon Thunder Wave. That way it would have been easier for me to capture, but we'll see what ends up happening right here. Come on. Hit him with those magical leaves. There's a reason why we're keeping that stuff on there. And here comes another punishment attack. 
And here comes Magical Leafs. And this Pokemon is now ready to capture. The only messed up part is that it... Yeah, it's probably not going to work, mainly because, yeah, it's, uh, it, we need a status effect, this Pokemon. So, chances are we might have to do this again. There we go, one. There's two. There's three. Come on! Yes! Yes! I did not know that was going to happen. Holy crud. I spent X amount of money for all these timer balls, for only... Oh my god. I am throwing out that peace sign. Suck it, Lugia. Okay, so here it is, guys. Lugia, the diving Pokemon. It is both psychic and flying. Lugia's wings pack a devastating power. A light fluttering of its wings can blow apart regular houses. As a result, this Pokemon chooses to live out, uh, live out a sight deep underwater sea. Yeah, buddy. We're not naming this Pokemon. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see that, guys? We got Lugia with one freaking timer ball. Oh my god. Oh! Okay. Alright. So, I did it. I caught myself a Lugia. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Okay, seriously guys, I, I was thinking that it was going to take me like multiple Pokeballs. I was already prepared to like, you know... Redo this whole thing again. Teach somebody Thunder Wave if I if I had Thunder Wave on me or something like that. Oh my god. Okay. So it wasn't a waste of time. I am successful. I am V1. So while we're doing this, going back to where we appeared, I just want to say this, guys. I hope you guys uh you know enjoyed the reruns that I've done for Pokemon Omega Ruby. Uh for those who are new, the reason why we did the reason why we did reruns of Pokemon Omega Ruby to this walkthrough is because, well, the capture card I have right here is on is on Australian time. Unfortunately, yeah, I live in Cali time, and we are like how many hours of difference? So I couldn't tell you. I couldn't give you like, I couldn't give you a significant time on how everything was going to be finished or anything like that. Especially when it came to the legendary Pokemon. So, yeah. I think this was a good thing on my behalf. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. Uh, stay tuned. The final episode is coming right here. So, I hope you guys are ready for all that one. So, thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.